As an online business owner, there are two things that you own online. One of them is your email list. Can you guess the other one? Well, if you said your blog, then you are absolutely correct because in this video, I'm going to share with you how you can use your blog to grow your network marketing business online. So stay tuned. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Tamil and I'm coming to you with this video on blogging for brand new network marketers. Now, if you're not new to this business and don't go anywhere, some of this information may be for you as well. But maybe you're brand new to joining your multi-level marketing company or maybe you've been in a multi-level marketing company for a while. Well, if so, then you're going to learn in this video that there are many ways that a blog can be useful to you as a network marketer. So whether you want to grow your brand by branding yourself as a leader in this industry or maybe you just want to generate more leads online or maybe get more sales and get more signups. If so, then you definitely want to check out this video. You know, a blog is a great way to connect with your audience. So with that being said, let's jump right in. Okay, so here we are blogging for brand new network marketers in 2019. Okay, so one of the main problems that network marketers have is generating leads. And this seems to be such a huge issue, which is one of the reasons why the failure rates are so high is because people tend to find themselves running out of people to talk to about their business. And so generating leads is very, very important because if you don't continue to generate leads and talk to people about your business, then it's kind of like your business dies. So, you know, one of the ways that you can, you know, generate more leads for your business is by having a blog. So now what does blogging do for you? You know, blogging gives you a voice. Blogging gives you um, a voice and, and, and you can look like a credible authority in your niche market by doing so. And when done correctly, this platform can basically skyrocket your business. I mean, you can put whatever you want to put on your blog. You could talk about whatever you want to talk about on your blog. And it can basically take your business from zero to, you know, a hundred because you can formulate what you want to say and you can do it to a targeted audience who is looking for exactly the content that you are providing. So that's what blocking can do for you. Now, also too, blogging helps to brand your name. You know, if you have, you know, um, say for example, a niche market, or you have something that you're known for. For example, maybe in your network marketing business, you're known for automation, and that is what you teach your audience. Or maybe you're known for, um, you know, uh, working the cold market. So, you know, people know you because they know they can come to you if they want to get advice about, you know, working the cold market, people that you don't know. That is what you call a niche market. So when you provide value and information to that niche market, to a specific audience, if you're giving that type of content, then that is a way to brand yourself. People will begin to know you for that particular for that particular niche. Also too, um, blogging, it helps to establish you as an authority in your niche market. You know, you become that go-to person or that expert just for that specific thing because that is what you brand yourself as. And you can do that all through your blog as well. You know, your blog can be your hub, like that central place that people come to, to find out everything about you. You know, so when you present yourself as an expert and a go to person, you know, through your blog, people will um, want to come to you for specific information. They'll want to seek you out because they know that you are the person to go to. So you can do this by establishing a blog with pertinent content, very, very good content that can help your niche market. Now also too, you know, blogging, it creates leverage. And what I mean by leverage is it can work for you 24 seven without you always being around. So you can set your blog up in a way that it is, you know, on autopilot, basically, it can generate leads for you. People can visit your, your blog all hours of the day and night, and they can get all of the information that they want. And at the same time, you can have all of this working for you while you sleep. So you can make sales, you can generate leads, you can have traffic coming to your blog. And people basically, they, they come to your blog for one, because they want to meet you. 
They want to find out more about you. And when they see that you are credible in your niche or that you're very knowledgeable in a certain area, they're going to want to keep coming back over and over and over again. So your blog creates leverage. You know, you can have it as a platform where it's on autopilot and it basically can help you in your business. It can help grow your business as well. Also, your blog it produces multiple streams of income, or at least it can. And one of the ways that it can do that is by you offering different products or services on your blog. So one of the things that you'll tend to find, you know, if you're ever out there and you're looking at, you know, some of these top gurus or top earners, one of the things that a lot of them have once they get, you know, so huge and so big is they'll have like digital products. They'll have training programs and they tend to offer those programs or sell them on their sites. And sometimes too, you know, they might do it through webinars as well. But usually if you want to like go back to the source, you want to find out if they have any type of training programs or any type of, you know, digital merchandise that you can, you know, basically purchase to help you grow your business. You can always go back to their blog because they're going to tend to promote it right there on their blog. So not only are they growing their network marketing business, they're promoting digital products or selling training courses. Um, they may be selling books as well on their on their blog. Um, you can also too, I've seen people uh, sell like merchandise. So some people like to brand clothing. And so I've seen some top earners that if they have certain slogans or things that they live by, they'll put them on t-shirts, they'll put them on hats, and they'll sell those things on their website as well. Um, also, people that are in network marketing also tend to be in affiliate marketing. So that's another stream of income that you can bring in off of your blog. If people are clicking on certain links or referring you to certain merchandise or certain, um, say for example, a certain book or whatever that they may have read, they might refer you to, you know, purchase that book by providing a link on their uh, blog for you to maybe go to Amazon where you can purchase something that they talked about in a video or in an article. Uh, that's another way for you to create another stream of income, you know, by using a blog and it just creates more leverage. You can't really duplicate yourself, but you can definitely duplicate, you know, systems that are in place that can help you leverage so that you can make multiple streams of income, do multiple things at one time with it just being just you, just an individual entrepreneur, solopreneur with it just being you. Now, another thing that you can do for um, new network marketers that are considering blogging or using it to basically grow their business is that you can promote coaching sessions. And you have a lot of people, especially gurus, as they get a little bit bigger and you don't you don't even have to really be a guru. You know, you just, you know, someone that is credible and knowledgeable and maybe you have a customer base that you want to sell, you know, coaching sessions to. You can do that also on your blog. And like I said before, affiliate programs, you can promote those on your blog. So if you have clients maybe that want to come to your site and find out information, you know, about, you know, affiliate marketing or maybe getting some one on one coaching with you or mastermind groups that you might be putting together. This is a way for you to, you know, basically promote these sessions and you can do that on your blog. Now, obviously, of course, if you are a brand new network marketer, you know, you just started your business, then you're probably not going to have coaching sessions. And who knows, maybe you will have, you know, an affiliate marketing program or something like that, or product that you're dealing with. But chances are, if you're just starting off, you more than likely won't do that, or you won't have that going on. And uh, lastly here, you know, people, they're going to come uh, here to learn about you and what you have to offer. You know, that's what people are going to come to your blog for. They're going to, they're going to want to find out about what you have to offer and what you basically, you know, what you are about, you know, who are you, you know, um, you know, are you a leader? Are you someone that they can trust in and someone that they can get help from basically for their business? So when you're thinking about blogging as a new network marketer in 2019, you have to get a little bit creative as to how you're going to bring people to you or attract people to you. And the way that I do that, of course, in my business is I like to teach people. 
I like to help people. I like to give them knowledge on things that I have already done and that I've had success with. And I like to give that information away to other people who are basically probably looking for the same thing. And I like to share that within, you know, either my blog or in videos like I'm doing right now. I want to share that information with people. So when it comes to blogging, you'll notice that every large, you know, guru in network marketing um, that or top earner, they all have a blog. It's a central hub. It's this place that people can go to, to basically find out who you are and what you're about. It's that place that you, you own yourself. You know, you own your blog, you own your blog as well as earning, I mean, uh, owning your list. And so your blog is that place that people can basically just come and find out everything that they need to know about you. And if they see that you are somebody that they want to work with, then they can reach out to you, you know, and contact you and go further from there. So let's take a look here as to how your blog can be utilized. You know, one way that you can utilize, you know, say for example, promoting your blog is with offline traffic. So if you are out and about and you want to share, you know, with people that, you know, yes, I have a home-based business. Yes, I can help you with, you know, this particular product or this is the type of service that I offer. You can always tell people, hey, why don't you go to my blog? Why don't you go to my site? And you can give them your site name. And that's a way to generate traffic to your blog. Another way to do so or to get people to come to your blog is through third party websites. So, you know, oftentimes people might want to go to places like Craigslist or different forums and they'll they'll post an article or a video and they will put their blog link there because they've already embedded their video, you know, into their blog. So instead of just taking people maybe back to YouTube, they'll just take them directly to their blog. And so they'll post the link to their blog in different places to drive traffic to their blog. And that's one of the things that I've done in the past and I've got good results about through it. Another way to do so is with audio or podcasts. Well, I'm not so much of a huge podcast fan. I mean, I'm, I'm not someone that's doing that right now, but for people that are thinking about doing so, this is another way for you to promote your blog and to drive traffic to your blog. So you have different people that like to listen to audio. They may not necessarily be into watching a YouTube channel. And so they may be listening to podcasts and this is a way for you to offer maybe like free resources or maybe you have a free giveaway that you're going to give away on your blog or something that will prompt people to go to your blog. And you can basically give your blog um, name out to different people um, over your podcast. And that's a way to generate traffic to your site. It always helps when you're giving away like something for free, something that is, you know, going to be useful to the person on the other end of maybe that podcast that maybe really needs help in a certain area. That's how you truly, you know, drive traffic, you know, to your blog is when you have very useful, valuable content. Um, another way to do so that I get more traffic to my blog is basically through social media and that's with posting content. And so maybe I'm, you know, I'll go on social media and I could post maybe an article or I can give a value post or put a value post out there that will prompt people to want to, you know, click on my link and read my article. Or maybe it's not always just an article. Maybe it's you with a link to your YouTube video, or maybe you've did a Facebook live. And after that Facebook live, you basically tell people, Hey, go to my, you know, website or go to my blog, you know, and you can get more content just like what you just heard. So those are just great ways to drive traffic to your blog. And to basically get your blog name out there so that people can see that, you know, what business that you're in and see what you have to offer. Um, another popular way, of really getting your blog name out there for new network marketers that are considering, you know, using blogging to build their network marketing business is with paid ads. Now, I know that some people say, well, I just started off and I don't really want to, you know, put anything into, you know, advertising, or maybe you just don't have the budget for it. 
Maybe you don't have the budget for advertising. So, you know, you've got Facebook ads and Google ads, and those are great ways, honestly, if you've got the budget for it and you want results a lot more faster, that's a great way to drive traffic to your blog and also too to generate leads to get people to opt in to maybe something that's free like a free resource or something like that that you can get people to opt into come to your blog and check out what you have and hopefully you're providing a lot of value and really having information for a specific audience maybe to other people that are having trouble with their network marketing business or maybe you're not promoting your business maybe you're promoting a product and you want to share that with people. So Facebook ads, Google ads, different pay ads are very great for, you know, driving traffic. Um, another way to drive traffic is to do video. And video is so difficult for a lot of people to really start because you have to get over that fear of, you know, what will people say? I don't know what to say. I don't know what to talk about. I mean, I could very well say that about this uh, video that I'm doing right now, that I don't know, you know, every single thing, you know, to say, and am I saying it the correct way? And how do I sound? You know, you're always judging yourself, but video is a way to build that no like and trust factor. So if you're looking for a way as a network marketer to build your business, even particularly online, because that's what I do. I build it online. I realize that the power of having video to connect with an audience is very, very important. And uh, this is a way that I generate leads as well for my business because I connect with people on the other side of this uh, computer or the other side of the screen. And there's people out there that may wanna hear the information that I have and it could possibly help them with their business. So YouTube videos or using video, um, even if you wanna post it on a different platform, even if you wanna send it to somebody in the email, maybe you have an email list, or maybe you know someone, you can always send a video. You can put anything you want in the video. You can make it a training video. You can make it just, you know, something that's a motivational video. You can make it a video like this where I'm not even on the video. You can't even see my face. You know, if that's an issue with some people, you can't see my face, but I can still give value. And this is a great way to basically drive traffic to your blog is by even putting your videos on your blog and then promoting your blog through all of these other other ways, whether it's podcasts, you know, third party websites, offline, you know, when you have this type of content on your blog, um, it gives you a whole lot more credibility because it shows that you're, you know, you're putting in the work to, you know, basically help people and help educate people. And it really sets you apart from the amateurs or the people that are really are not interested in or even trying to put in the work to grow their business. Now, your blog is equivalent to a place of residence. You know, it's where people can find you and all that you have to offer. And I've said this before, but when I say a place of residence, I mean, it's like your home. It's where you have everything. It's your hub. It's where you bring everything back to. You know, you own your blog. If you are solely counting on Facebook ads or you're solely counting on YouTube, all of those platforms, they can shut down. They can shut down and you cannot have access to all of your thousands of friends on Instagram and things like that. But with your blog, you know, it's one thing that, you know, no one's really taken away from you. You know, you don't have to worry about getting put into, you know, jail or Facebook jail, you know, with your blog because you own your blog as well as owning your email list. So you want to use all of these other um, platforms to generate leads, to uh, create a brand, but you're doing all that to bring them back to the central hub, which is your blog. That's where you always want to drive people back to. You want them to always come back to your blog. So that's the first place they'll go before they head to Facebook or Instagram or YouTube, because you do not own those platforms. They are owned by other people. Okay, so now lastly, let's do a review of this. You know, um, what is the main reason for, or one of the main reasons for having a blog is that it helps network marketers generate leads. And most importantly, that's one of the things that, you know, we need to thrive on because without leads, you know, you have no one to talk to and when you don't have anyone to talk to and you're not showing your business to people, then your business isn't growing. So you can definitely use your blog in many different ways to create leads for your business.
It also positions you as a credible authority, because like I said, once you build your brand and you find that niche or that area that you want to focus on in terms of, you know, what you want to talk about, the content that you want to put out there to people, once you find that area um, and you concentrate on it and you can help people with the knowledge that you have, you build credibility. And especially if people get results with it, people come back and say, hey, I utilize that technique you gave. You know, this is really great information. Thanks a lot. When people start to thank you for, you know, the content and the ways that you help them, you become more credible. You become more real, more authentic. You know, you're not, you know, a possible scam. And so that's the way that your blog presents itself. It's a professional way of really putting yourself out there. And it also brands you. You know, you can brand yourself however you want. If there is a, as a certain niche that you uh, that you um, focus on, if there's a certain audience that you're talking to, if there's a certain look that you go for, even all the way down to the way you look, the way that you talk, it's you yourself. Yes, there's other network marketers that are out there, but no one can be you. So you can truly brand yourself with your blog. Um, also too, um, you can put your blog on autopilot and it basically creates leverage. And what I mean autopilot is, is that it's working for you because you don't have to be there to work it. So you can generate leads. Um, you can capture leads. You can make sales. You can get signups. Uh, people can leave, you know, their name, contact information. They can read about you. They can watch your videos. I mean, if you want to put anything and everything you want on your blog is working for you while you are not present. So you want to learn how to make money and not be present to make money. You need to have leverage. And that is one of the great things about blogs is that it helps you to leverage you know, the way that you present yourself to people and helps you leverage systems. Also too, it helps you to produce multiple streams of income. And like I said before, um, you know, the, the different multiple streams of income that you can use or that you can create can come from uh, digital marketing, training programs. Um, maybe you wanna do a coaching session later on down the line. Uh, maybe you wanna sell products. Uh, different things like that. You can basically use your, you know, blog to create multiple streams of income. Now, um, lastly, this is just uh, basically a basic view of of what um, a brand new network marketer can expect, like when when starting a blog and what it can really do for you. And I highly recommend doing so because. Um, it is that type of content that once you put it out there, it's out there and people can always reference it, it years to come as long as you're as long as you're around. So I definitely, you know, I encourage you to, you know, look at starting off in a blog if if nothing else, <laughs> you know, and um, basically see where it takes you from there. OK. All right, guys. Well, that is it. I hope you have a better picture as to, you know, how you can use a blog as a brand new network marketer for your, um, for your business. And also, you know, I'm thinking about creating more videos on how I generate, you know, leads for my blog and how you can be using, you know, uh, blogging as a way to attract people to you in your network marketing business. So definitely stay tuned to, you know, more videos on this subject and how it can, you know, just create leverage for your business. Also, you know, I encourage you to pick up my free resource that I put together for you in the description below. It's called the Home Business Beginner's Guide. And it basically gives you five business ideas that will help you create passive income part time until you can fire your boss. And um, also, you know, share this video with someone who may be interested in taking their network marketing business to the next level and they need a little help. You know, I do make videos on a weekly basis, helping people who are, you know, working their nine to five plus overtime and they want to make passive income from home. So that if that is you, then you definitely want to tune into more videos. And also I just want to thank you for tuning into my channel. Go ahead and leave a comment below and give me a thumbs up if you like what you heard. And lastly, if you care to share your comment, here is the question of the day. You know, do you have a blog? And if so, how are you using it to grow your business? Drop a message in the comment section below. And until next time, I'll see you on the next video.